Hello there, Sarah from 17 once again. This is my Uncharted 2 remastered brutal difficulty walkthrough. This is the 24th level. It is Road to Shambhala, which is uh, Shambhala just said a little bit more enthusiastically. And we're turning daggers to face downwards to trigger the puzzle in this particular mission. This level is really short. It's a fun one though and it's going to be filled with with hilarity because this particular section right now I want an honest show of hands because you know honesty is a great thing there are some jumps in this particular sequence where I died more times trying to jump and grab something than I did against the last boss all the firefights I've mentioned that were difficult except for the dick so, the jump that's coming up killed me, well, a couple of other fights as well. Uh, let's, let's give me, I think I died about five times, which is more than most, it's this one, this jump right now. How many people jumped towards this left thing and Nathan Drake just didn't grab it? I had at least five jumps that looked perfect, he never grabbed it, not even once. Am I on my own on an island at that jump, or did anybody else have that issue? Please be honest, because... It doesn't make any sense. Why is that jump harder than than some of the bosses? It's harder than the Yetis. It's harder than fucking guy on the train, Gaza man. Like, it's so hard. And I've been playing platformers since Mario. Like, I, I've got decent depth perception. I know how to run to a ledge, press X and jump or whatever jump is, and then, you know, hold it to grab or whatever you do on this game and holding forward and everything, getting that momentum. I know the basic rules of platforming. Yeah, that, it claimed more lives from me in that session. It was a joke. It was so funny. <laughs> like, is this really in the game at this point? I just, I have no idea why it never did that. And it's such a simple thing. Like, it's not a far jump. There are other jumps where you do it and you think you should grab it and it just doesn't happen. But that one doesn't even look like it's one of those jumps and it just turned out to be for me. Additionally, how many people did this? I was playing through this level on Crushing and I think I, I pressed punch by accident when we were stood waiting for something. And it went into this kind of vignette of me fighting with that guy who's betrayed you. And there was a quick time event and he killed me. And I'd never seen it before. I didn't even know what the fuck was happening. I thought it was great. But I'd never seen that before. So I just, just to show of hands how many people have stumbled into that as well. Because you don't have to do that. It's just one of those things that can happen, which is a really cool touch. It's a little bit like when you shoot Lewis too many times on Resident Evil 4 in the cabin and he just kills you. Like, fuck you, Leon. See you later. But, uh, fuck you, dude. I've trimmed out a lot of nonsense because you wait for this dude all the time. He winds me up. And there is a big puzzle here that features patterns again. And all you have to do is look at the symbol at the bottom. That's going to be emblazoned on the architecture to tell you which side is which. There's the fire side. The other one is the square side. And then you have to match these three giant rotating tumbler things with the images. And... It's not the trickiest of puzzles. The one thing that's going to catch you out is the broken one that's got the two lines on it and the broken one that's got, like, the one... Uh, is it, like, a... I forget the name of musical symbols because I was terrible at music at school. But the one that looks like a... Is it a clef? A single clef? I don't know. Music people know what I mean, hopefully. But this is not a tricky puzzle. There are tons of guides online to do it and all that kind of stuff. And if you watch this video, it will get you through it as well. I have no idea how much I go into the journal, but it's probably more than you should. But once you do this, it's going to trigger uh, one of those Yeti moments where you have to survive for a set amount of time. The cool thing is, if you get as far away from them as you can, they can sometimes just get lost fighting that asshole guy and they'll just ignore you and when they do come close to you all you want to do is pack all the shit out of it. Just go up when they come down and go down when they come up, you know. Anti Simon says that situation and I I get a really good run in this I don't think anyone really messes with me too much a couple have a go but they're, they're never really close enough to do too much and it goes really really well and none of them throw giant balls at me which is nice I don't like balls getting thrown at me it's disgusting so you see what I mean I'm just it's not my strength that guys give me a tough checkpoint any day give me something that I have to like a pattern to memorize or a list of instructions like you know those games where the somebody does you know left right up up left right your turn and i'm like uh oh shit left down oh that is not my skill anymore and the weird thing is when i was a kid i used to be really good at that stuff but now 
I'm like some geriatric... Uh oh. So there they come. And I'm gonna run over here and try and do some climbing. Anybody follow me? No, they didn't. He's just too cool for school, him. So you notice how two of them have gone for, for Nasty Man? We're gonna come over here and just play climb. Climb a lot with this dude. And he climbs so much faster than you do. He is legit. He's like that French dude who does stupid stuff. And I got punched, so I've just bigged this section up and I, and I don't even do a good job. How dare I? Suffice to say, it is a clean run because he doesn't really do much. I just stay over here and his friends never bother me and he barely bothers me as well. So it's a pretty good run. But you see what I mean? It's just it's just me and him. Just chilling. Playing and splashing in the water. Trying to catch the dragon. But the difference here is, is you can catch the dragon because it has inferior agility to this furry nemesis right here. And that right there winds me up to death, but they fixed it on Uncharted 3. And that's the end. It triggers a cutscene and then we're immediately thrown in the shit. And the good news is, I got this next bit on a first attempt, so you're going to see the title card, which is really rare, because if you know what this next section is coming up, you're going to wonder just how the hell did I not die. Answer, I couldn't tell you. You take care now.